okay so what we will do now is to simply create a ui canvas by the name of select car canvas and let's remove this play button from the selection canvas to the select car canvas okay and then let's actually duplicate this button and change its name to skip button and let's change the text inside to skip okay and let's deactivate this play button for now we will just show the skip button and now we have one camera which play the animation now we need the other camera which will be just stay still when the animation finishes okay so for that we have the main camera right here let's actually go inside the animations whoops let's just copy this transform the last transform it's, it's when the camera set in this position as you can see right here so just copy that transform from there okay and then let's create a camera let's move it up there and let's reset the transform of it first and then paste component values now as you can see it is in the same position in which the uh, main camera uh, finished the last animation as you can see so if we disable that we have the camera enabled now if we disable that as well we don't have any camera rendering as you can see now if we enable this one this is right there and this one set to that position okay let's activate both of them for now actually let's take to the second one now we have the skip button the camera right here in our car selection now let's add a header there by the name of buttons and canvas okay in here we need a reference to the next button okay because when the game start and the animation is playing we don't want to show the next button no we want to show the previous button so let's add a reference to that as well and also what we can do right here is just simply remove this okay let's add a reference to the selection canvas if you see the selection canvas it just contain the next and previous button so why can't we just simply deactivate this canvas okay like this so let's add a reference to the selection canvas instead of the next and previous button okay let's say public game object and let's name this as selection canvas after this we need a reference to the skip button so let's add the skip button and then we need a reference to our play button as well because when the animation is playing we will show only the skip button and the play button will be deactivated but when the player click on the skip button then we will show the play button okay so add a reference is to these now right here let's assign the selection canvas there and then let's assign the buttons here is the play button here is the skip button now right here in the awake what we want to do so when the game start we want the selection canvas to be deactivated so let's set it to false after this let's deactivate the play button as well so we will say play button dot set active let's set it to false and after this we want to deactivate the camera as well so first of all let's add a references to our cameras as well 
let me actually add this right here so we will say header let's name this as cameras and in here as you know we have two cameras so we will say public game object can one and then cam two okay we will assign this but first of all right here let's just say cam two dot set active false okay now let's assign the camera as well so here is the first camera then there is the second camera which is the still camera so when the game start we will deactivate all of these things but now when we click on the skip button then what we want to do so let's just create a function for that right here so public void let's name this as skip button and in here when the skip button is pressed then we want to show the selection canvas okay which is the buttons the next and previous buttons so let's set that to true and after this we want to show the play button as well so let's activate that as well and after this we want to remove the skip button okay make sure that you know the difference between this skip button the skip button function or method and then the skip button which is actually this okay this s is small and this s is capital so let's deactivate the skip button and after that we will deactivate the first camera which is the animation camera and we will activate the other camera okay let's save this and now if we click on this script okay everything is it signed now let's click on the skip button right here the player car spawn area is already added you can add it again if you want and then in the car selection let's select the skip button function that's it now if we play the game you will notice that these things will be deactivated as you can see we just only see the skip button now if we click on it as you can see it is directly showing us the menu as you can see now as you can see we have the play button as well so now we can play the game from here if you want let's test it out again okay let's click on skip it is directly showing this area now if we go inside the scene day right here click on this player car spawn area and let's assign the non-usable but important thing in all of that as well or else it will give out an error to you so make sure that you fill all of this okay let's go back to the gear art scene here it is let's play the game okay let's click on skip here is all of the cards let's click on play and here is the car okay so now everything is set up okay we have the garage now we can select between different cars okay and then we can play the game on that specific car now in the upcoming videos we will add the touch controls to our game which is actually a really fun part of this project as well so now in the next video we will add all of the touch control things okay so catch you guys in the next one